As Election Day gets closer, we're helping you get to know your candidates. Tonight, we're joined by Tavi Sok Sipontong, known as Lucky, who is running for a seat on the Eureka City Council. Thank you so much, Lucky, for taking the time to speak with us this evening. Uh, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Now, Lucky, what do you see as the most pressing issue in our area right now? Then how do you plan to solve it? I think there's two pressing issues right now. Uh, the issue of the homeless and uh, drug abuse in our community. Uh, and the second issue is, of course, uh, housing and affordable housing. Uh, the first issue, I think that we need to get all the uh, community, uh, county, city agencies, agencies together and work together, whether it be mental health, whether it be CSET, um, and to try to figure out individually how to, how to help the, those individuals that are houseless. And um, I like what Betty Chin is doing with her village and helping the houses that way, so I support what Betty Chin does. And as far as affordable housing, we need more options out there. We need uh, ideas like tiny homes or we need to pick uh, dilapidated uh, buildings and turn those into housing. We need to work with the city, the community, the citizens all together to make it um, possible for everyone to have affordable housing. Now describe a recent local decision you agree with, then one you disagree with, then explain why. Um, I was live during the last council uh, meeting where they approved a uh, community block uh, grant uh, to apply for one. And I, I, uh, I support that because it will bring funds to our uh, community that will help uh, build, uh, you know, fix up buildings and whatnot, like in the Boys and Girls Club. And uh, one that I disagree with, you said? Yes. Okay. Um, one that I disagree with that the council passed was the uh, vacancy ordinance uh, where they try to put a fee, where they put a fee on owners that uh, have buildings that are vacant. I don't believe that you should uh, do that if the owner is maintain the, maintaining the property. I think it's uh, government overreach and government is trying to tell uh, the owner what to do. I think that's uh, hinging on probably owner right. Now, have you received any donations or endorsements from any groups that you'd like to share with us? Um, I believe the city council is a nonpartisan uh, seat and I did not purposely reach out to any groups or any parties for any endorsements because I want the public to know that I work for them if I'm on the city council. So most of my uh, funding has been through my own lending to myself and one donor. Uh, but that's it. I, I am not endorsed by any party or group. Now, very, very quickly, tell us what sets you apart from all of the other candidates. Uh, I grew up here. I'm a local uh, boy, a local son of Eureka. I went to all the local schools. I know what, how it was like when Eureka was driving, when the Basho Mall first opened. It was a very exciting time, and lots of businesses were in there. We, we were economically viable. Now I see that um, we need to help our business uh, partners bring tourists into our city. And uh, I, I am, my, my platforms are community, accountability, and transparency. And I believe that uh, I am more, I would, I would talk to my uh, neighbors more to learn their issues. I would discuss with businesses what they need to help their businesses uh, thrive. So I'm more in touch with the local community. That would be the difference between me and the other candidate. Thank you, Lucky, so much for taking the time to speak with us this evening. Thank you so much. And remember to go to vote on November 5th. Thank you. Now, if you'd like to see this interview again or listen to what other candidates have to say, visit our website, krcrtv.com.